morning ladies and gentlemen i'm meaty69 welcome back to the channel in today's video we're going to play a bit of the e100 we're going to talk about it we're going to play it we're going to to, uh, well, try to teach you guys how to play it and of course tell you uh, or show you how not to play the tank because uh, yeah the E100 is as I've I previously said uh, is, is kind of like a noob man's tank usually uh, the E100 you come up, up against an, uh, an E100 and the players are not, are not fantastic in the tank. It doesn't mean that they are really bad players. It really just means that they, they don't know how to play it. Because it is a very difficult tank to play. Even though it is a, a big, super heavy tank with a massive gun, it, you can't just roll out and expect to do a lot of damage and expect to bounce everything. Because that just isn't the case. And most E100 drivers, or most E100s you come up against, are not fantastic players. And they're quite easy. Uh, to deal with uh, so we're going to look at the stats first and then we're going to get into a, a couple of battles so the turret on paper is 270 millimeters thick now you've got to bear in mind uh, the cheeks are not that thick and they are quite easily uh, uh, pen uh, penable now wargaming did buff these cheeks to make it a lot better uh, but you know, switch to premium rounds, you can still penetrate it nice and easily. And your hole is 200. And again, that doesn't include uh, the lower plate, which is, again, very, very weak. Um, so if you talk about the, the Jag Panzer E100, if you talk about the Mouse, the E100, they are all very, very similar. Uh, well, apart from the Jag, uh, really. Uh, but the mouse and the E100 are very, very similar, whereas not only have you, have you got to angle your turret, uh, but you've also got to angle your lower plate as well to, to make that armor effective. So you've got to try to hide the lower plate, and you've also got to angle your turret. And, and then... Only, and only then you will start to get some bounces. Um, so your DPM, 2,276. Now we are running this with calibrated shells because the DPM is not that high. It has a long reload. I want to maximize my penetration. I don't want to wait all that time to reload and then bounce my shot. So I want to maximize that penetration. So that is why I run calibrated shells. Uh, so that's an 18 second reload. So it's a long time to wait. Uh, but between each shell uh, in well each reload and again, if you bounce, that's enough for 18 seconds you've got to wait. Uh, so your penetration with that calibrated shells is 271 and 367 on your heat. It's 94 on your HE. Uh, you've got a 680 alpha gun on the AP, 580 on your heat and 1020 on your HE. So if you can get that HE out, uh, do try to get that out because it really will help. Of course, because of the uh, because of the tank in general, the aim time at 4 Point seven isn't great so is the gun dispersion at 0 0.380 not fantastic at all uh, and you do only have seven degrees of gun depression with a top speed of just 30 kilometers per hour um, but yeah if you play it right if you play the tank right honestly it can be one of the best tanks in the game i absolutely love the e100 it is one of my go-to tanks uh, just to have that a little bit of fun uh, and you can have fun as long as you play it correctly now straight up there i just four fast ordered and I, I missed the uh, the shot that I get shot from I think the Death Star so straight away that's like 800 gone uh, just because there was a Death Star waiting in the wings and there couldn't be there wasn't too much I could actually do about that now I am playing it a little bit risky in uh, just poking out there uh, to get the shot but I really wanted to clear uh, that uh, Sheridan and then I'm just going to back up. And, you know, I've got my team around me. We do have two tanks down. The enemy have two tanks down. Um, and I know I'm going to come out sideways sometimes. Um, but, you know, sometimes it is worth taking that risk. But you do need to be careful of the tanks that are not spotted. And you can see me trying to angle there. I'm trying to angle because I don't want that guy. Because I'm sort of higher ground, I don't want that guy to shoot my lower plate. So I thought it would be best for me to angle there. And it worked. You know, about 600 damage uh hello death star. i do not want to come out in uh, in front of a death star so i managed to get the shot off and then i'm just going to back up um at this point there's four tanks left for my team five for the enemy um so yeah we've 
we've got a little bit of work to do. Now, I really, really want to cl uh, clear the STB. So I'm just going to try to go up a little bit, try to uh, load up the HE because I should be able to clear this guy with HE. Uh, but I don't want to stay here for too long because I know the Death Star and the object is waiting in the wings. So I just thought, you know what? And luckily, I didn't need to anyway. So I'm just going to back up. There's the object. And I just really want the, uh, the Death Star to be spotted as well. Now, I like this shot that I'm about to do. And I always say, with a tank with a big gun if you can't penetrate uh, with AP or with heat uh, just load up the HE because sometimes it will work like that you know yes it's not a max roll I, well I got a max roll but it was only a splash but almost 600 damage I've done there and that's because I knew I couldn't penetrate that guy so even if I was to do 300 or 400 damage that's 300 and 400 damage you know let him go hold down because eventually his hit points are going to drop and he's going to have to move and again here always try uh, to just use the HE a bit and we do get another bounce there um, so yeah I use HE a lot um, not just to do maximum damage but just to do damage you know just to do some damage or just to clear uh, some of these guys if they are low hit points because the worst thing you want is there a tank on a hundred hit points you use your AP and you bounce and he's still alive whereas if you use your HE he, he, that's it He's going to be dead. Same as here. 268, no problem. I'm just going to use my HE. At least you don't have to aim. You just shoot. You just shoot and it's going to penetrate. Um, so before you know it, it's now a three versus two. I have plenty of hit points. So I'm just going to poke forward at this point. I don't mind. Oh, hello. Another one shot. Let's load the HE with a bounce on, along the way. And uh, that is my fourth kill. Uh, with Mostly uh, with HE. And at this point, there's not too much this IS-7 can do. He's trying to run away, uh, which is a shame because he's just going to go in a position where I can't actually get my gun down uh, enough. But again... 368, no problem. I'm just going to use the HE, go down, give him a little ram, and it's game over. So you can see I didn't get any really max damage there. Uh, but my HE, you know, I used HE a lot, and I managed to get five kills from it. It wasn't the best of damage, but... I think the gameplay there weren't too bad at all. Um, so moving on to the next one. Uh, this one is a loss, so I'm, I'm not going to show uh, the whole game. Uh, but I just wanted to show sort of... Uh, the kind of angles that you could uh, get yourself in and then you can uh, yeah you can make it work um, the best time really to angle is if you are face hugging someone if you face hug then always try to angle as best as you can sometimes you need to tr like over angle because there is like a little strip at the bottom of your turret uh, that can be penetrated quite easily so you want to try and hide that and also you want to try and hide the cheeks as much as you can and you'll always see me if you, I'm going towards a tank you'll always see me at this kind of angle where I'm not going straight on I'm coming in at an angle um, and that's so it's, it's a lot difficult for them to pen uh, but to be honest, I did get myself in a bit of a, a situation here where I started to put the uh, push the mouse. And you can see I'm getting bounces from this guy. I didn't realize the object 777 uh, was going to come at me. And then, as you can see, as soon as I get my shot, I'm looking at angling. I don't want to look directly at this guy. You can see I'm trying to angle and he's trying to go for my turret. And then I do get the bounce. I was just hoping for a little bit more support. If that Type 71 uh, just pushed forward, you know took the attention of that object it would have been a, com a completely different game but fair play to this object he actually did the right thing he's ignoring that type and he's come to help the mouse because the mouse just was not doing it uh he's you know yeah he's penetrating me now but you can see i'm trying to look at two different places at once um but yeah end of the road i do uh, i do die i'm trying to get my shot off uh, i think i get one more shot off and then uh, then it is uh, game over but we still managed to block 2k uh, and you can see if you angle correctly you can get those bounces so let me know what you think of the e100 i still think it is a noob man's tank People need to learn better uh, how to play the E100 to make the tank more successful. It is one of the most played tier 10s, uh, but just not one of the best performers. So I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. I'm Meezy, and I will catch you all soon. Bye-bye.